And Rika Roy spoke with IPL chairman Arun Dhumal. Let's listen in. Okay, so there has been a change of guard in BCCI, Roger Binney taking over. Tell us, how did the choice of Roger Binney come about? I mean, the, the, the moment his name came over, everybody was so excited because he's been start to, you know, all of us. BCCI definitely got changed post-83. If you look at BCCI before 83 and post-83 and uh, hats off to all those champs who were part of that uh, great team. Nobody had expected them to win, but they won the tournament for us and uh, it created a different kind of, you know, mood in the country and BCCI grew manifold from there. So we are very, very excited, uh, Roger taking over because this would have been his last opportunity, he's 67, okay. going by the, you know, constitution, he wouldn't have got that opportunity after three years. So we were very, very excited. And how did his name come about and who brought up his name in particular? Just when we were exploring what all options are there. Mm -hmm. So then somebody suggested that he could be one of the options and when his name came up, everybody was like, oh, let us go with him because we are hosting uh, the World Cup uh, next year. It is going to be 30 years of winning of first uh, World Cup. So who better than uh, Roger Vini? Also, BCCI is brand building in that. Arun, I'll also have to ask you, you know, you've been a part of the team of Saurav Ganguly. Your high point of working with Saurav Ganguly, what, you know, what would you say was the high point in being a part of that? You know, Saurav has been a great uh, leader. We've seen him leading Team India in ground. He's been a champion and uh, he made that team, the so-called champion team at that point in time. He's been a great leader there. He's been a great leader here. Last three years, we all worked as a team and he's been a great leader. And uh, he always uh, put forth uh, his point in the interest of uh, cricket and cricketing for Kidney. And uh, we all uh, had his uh, guidance on all, each and every issue. And there's a sense that PCC didn't want him anymore? Not at all. Not at all. I don't know where these rumours came from. Everybody was very clear. Nobody has uh, got BCCI president for, for a consecutive term. If you see the history of BCCI, nobody has served as president of BCCI for more than three years. Hmm. So that was the only thing that was consideration. And like I told you, at times it used to be on a zonal basis and things like that. So when we were discussing that uh, who could be thought of uh, for the new presidentship, Somebody suggested Mr. Binney's name and everybody took it. Arun, also you discussed about the future tours program of the Indian cricket team and we knew that there was a chance that India could travel to Pakistan. But the secretary today said that Asia Cup will probably happen on a neutral venue or not probably, it is happening on a neutral venue. Is there a sense when India can travel to Pakistan, play See, Pakistan? It is not about what India or uh, Indian board or Pakistan board decide. It is always dependent uh, on what their countries uh, decide with regard to keeping in mind safety and security of their players. So, uh, since it has been uh, given, uh, uh, Pakistan has been given the venue for uh, the next uh, Asia Cup, but going by the history and uh, premise that it is uh, highly unlikely that we will get the permission from the government, uh, he gave that statement. It would all depend what is the government's position on that. We will abide by that. Mm -hmm. So in case, if they continue with the stand uh, which they had so far, obviously then we will go for the neutral venue. Because whenever uh, we had to host the Asia Cup, since they could not travel to uh, India because of uh, lack of permission, we had to go to the neutral uh, venue. So that may be the case in the coming cup. Okay, one last question, you know, we, when it comes to BCCI and the history of BCCI, we've seen a lot of powerful politicians or politically connected people being a part of the board. There's a lot of talk about how politicians continue to rule the BCCI. Yeah. Tell me, what are the benefits of being a politician or politically, someone politically connected to, you know, be a part of the cricketing, to be a part of the cricket fraternity, rule the board or even be a part of sports politics? See, we live in a democratic uh, country and we are proud that we are the world's largest democracy. Unfortunately, in this country, the belief is we want a democracy without a politician. That doesn't happen. So we have to accept the fact, in case we want to live in a democracy, we have to respect our politician and we have to elect the respectful and worthy people to those positions. Yeah. So keeping that in mind, Everybody would have some or the other political ideology and we have to be proud of that. But we have to make sure everyone in trust work in the interest of the country. India first is the motto that every political ideology has to carry. And keeping that in mind, whatever field you are working in, be it in the field of education, sports, 
governance or whatever you have to keep the inter country's interest in mind that is my belief and we have to be very proud of whatever political ideology we follow and i wish you the very best in your new role as ipl chairman thank you so much thank you